Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen my previous videos, if not, welcome. My name is Shauna. I am a New York City based fashion model and a lover of makeup. For today's look, I just wanted to do something light and at least for me fairly simple. I just wanted to do yet again some makeup therapy. Um, while I am filming this, we do not yet have the results from the election, the presidential election specifically in the United States. It is a very anxiety inducing time and I just wanted to do something to kind of get away from that. and. Hopefully we will have a better future ahead. It has been a rough four years with the current president, if you can even call him that. But yeah, I am going to play with this Sigma Enchanted palette. It's actually my first time ever using Sigma, which is kind of wild considering how long I've been doing makeup. But um, for me, it's a rather muted color palette, but the shimmers just look stunning in this and I'm really excited to play with those and I'm probably gonna keep it on the lighter side like I might pull in like a like one of the shades over here like in the outer corner just to add some depth but I think primarily like I'll be using like these colors and like maybe that one too um, so yeah let's just get started and see where we go with it <laughs> all right So first I'm going in with the color Innocent and this is a fairly light peachy beige color and this is just going to be the base for the work that I'm going to be doing. And I am using a fluffy brush and it's the brush that came with the palette. Um, I figured I would use this because Sigma is known for their brushes and it, it is a really nice brush. with the shade Moonglade and it's a mauve satin color and I'm placing that on the outer corner above the crease. Electrum and placing that between the two shades and it's a nice shimmery gold color. Now I know most people wouldn't put a shimmer on this area but I thought why not. Now to add some depth I'm going in with the shade Terra which is a nice kind of rusty brown color. <laughs> Which is a nice glittery pink shade and I am applying this with a flat brush and I did decide to try to place it with the finger as well just to see if that would allow a more high impact application but honestly I would say that this shade is more of a topper shade and I would say that's the case for most of the glittery shades in this palette you can use them on their own as I did but it's not gonna be as vibrant as you may want so next I'm going in with the shade Budding and I'm placing this on the inner section of the lid. Now on the lower section beneath the eye, I'm taking the shade Innocent again and just buffing this throughout. taking the shade Cosmos and placing that on top of the previous shade and this is a dark green shimmer shade. And now on the outer corner I'm placing the color Metamorphosis and this is a duochrome that has a brown base with a dark green glitter. Okay. 
At this point, I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and blending that out. And now for the inner corner highlight, I am using the shade Sunburst. And I would say it's a satin, it's a pale gold color. I didn't want anything too poppy for this. It's just a subtle highlight. And now I'm taking the Pacifica pencil. Um, I don't have this right with me, but it's the light beige color that I normally use. And now just curling the lashes. Now I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. in the shade Shady Biz and just applying that all over. Cosmetics The Status. It's my go-to. It's a beautiful rose gold, very blinding highlight. The more you pack on, the more it will hit. And definitely when the light hits this, it's just really, really beautiful as you can see. The Runaway Lip Gloss. This is my favorite. Very light nude color. So this is the completed look. It's definitely for me a lot softer than what I normally do but I think it's really pretty and I'm definitely pleased with the performance of the palette. Everything blended easily. I would say that the shimmers honestly are probably more so toppers, are meant to be toppers more than used alone. I did just use them alone. They definitely show up and they're really pretty, but they're not as high intensity as they may look um, in the pans. But yeah, overall, I think it's a really nice look. And it is now completely dark outside and it was pretty much dark when I started filming, but I am excited to try the night site. I have a Google Pixel phone and I recently was forced to upgrade because my phone stopped working and I got the 4A because it's a more affordable option and I'm looking forward to seeing how the night site um, option of that are. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how the night site option on this new phone works. So yeah, stay tuned for a few more seconds and check out the photos for the full look. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Shauna Steele. And if you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and feel free to com out, comment below something that you liked about this video. And let us pray and hope that this election goes at least somewhat the way we hope. All right, until next time, stay safe and stay well. Bye.